Welcome back, everybody. We are here on Kalidor, one of the planets in our solar system. This is our first real visit here. And we can see that uh, we have Malachite in caves, Wolframite in the mountains. We're not low on any of these uh, resources, so we're not really here for those. Gases that we can't really get to, and lots of sun. Uh, that being said, we are here to find, hopefully, a, uh, a friendly snail. So... To start out, we are going to throw down our uh, landing pad right over here. Okay, and let's uh, let's rotate that around like this. Maybe that looks good. And expand it. There we go. Let's throw this up on there. And then now we have the problem of getting power. Because right now we're getting a little tiny bit of power from this, I think. Uh, we can check that. How do we check that? We burn some power real quick. So we come back. And actually no power is flowing that I can see. Hold on. Oh, a little bit is. Yeah, just a little bit. Although some of that might be coming from this battery. So, uh, I don't see the sun. It's night at the moment, but what we're going to do is throw our power generation right here onto this storage unit. Uh, and hopefully, over time, as we build, uh, as we sort of head out, when, uh, when the sun comes out or the wind starts blowing, we've got a little bit there, uh, we will begin generating power from the shuttle and filling up our battery that way. I will throw this up there as well. We've got uh, a pair of tethers here, and a soil canister, and that's it. So we've got to head out and find uh, some resources and find, uh, hopefully, our snail buddy. So we've got some resin right here. Uh, why don't we go ahead and grab a little bit of that. There we go. That's one resin, if we need some. And then I don't know which direction to head out in here got wide open plains. There is some uh, plant life, it looks like. Uh, we've got some compound down there, so I think we'll head that way to start. And see what we can find. Uh, so what is this? This is going to be... That's organic, okay. And then this, that's a research item. Interesting. We might bring that home, actually. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. There we go. Here comes the sun. So actually, let's, uh, let's rotate, if we can. There we go. So when, as the sun comes out, we'll be generating a little bit more power. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So when we come, if we come back again, or if we need to come to this planet for many reasons, we should definitely bring solar. I should have looked at the planet definition before we headed out, actually. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? We're looking for uh, snail shells. That's what we really want right now. So let's see if we can find some. A little bit of compound never hurt anybody. There we go. And uh, let's seal this over so we don't fall into holes here. There we go. Uh, let's make sure we're connected up. And uh, I guess we can go check out this exo uh, thingy over here. What do you need? Okay. That is going to take some sort of square item. I don't really know what that is. Uh, let's see. Let's make another tether real quick. We're almost out here. 
And let's take a look at the uh, Astropedia. What is that resource? So a square resource. Tungsten, refined from Wolframite. Okay, so we don't have any tungsten here. We'd have to go home to smelt it. So even if we found the Wolframite, uh, that wouldn't get the job done. Uh, let's continue, let's just continue forging forward. Um, fairly bare so far. The desert out here. I'm not seeing any shells at the moment. Uh, but we do have, that's more organic. What is that? Also organic. All these things are organic. There's some resin over there. Let's keep going. I am really going to enjoy getting access to this uh, snail if he does what I think he's going to do. Hmm. So I'm still not seeing any... Uh, oh, well, what do we got over here? Spine lily. Okay. Uh, there's a research item. We probably want some of these spine lily seeds for the, uh, the little snail guy if we do find him. Let's dig one of these up. A couple of those seeds, that's good. Just keep going here. Seems like there is some wind. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, what are those? Artifact. Ooh, interesting. And the thing that it's in, I don't know what to make of this. This is some sort of lore, lore thing, interesting. Uh, we have run out of tethers, let's build a few more. Oh, we haven't actually run out here. So let me uh, pop a couple down. Okay. Pick this up. There we go. We got more artifacts over here. These are probably worth a good chunk of research if we bring them back. Maybe. There's a bunch of them here. And a site pylon, mission object, call nearest car. A marker deployed by Exodynamics to indicate a location of value serves as a rail line terminus to aid in transporting items. Status ready to call car. Okay, let's do it. Recall failed. Okay. <laughs> but we can actually pick this whole thing up. Wow. Wow, what is this? Fascinating. Mission object. Well, I guess if we leave it along this uh, this line, if we ever need to come back and pick it up, we, we kind of know how to do that. Uh, we do have a research sample on top of the cactus here, and I'm tempted to try and bring those back. Um, I do What I do not see is the, uh, is the snail shells that we're looking for. I wonder if I should have been looking at, from orbit to see a location where we might find our little buddy, because maybe we have, uh, we've missed him. Hmm. Well, all right, let's, uh, let me carry this and let's head back to the ship and strike out in a different direction. Maybe we can find something in another way. Or maybe we need to go back into orbit and find him. I think what I did was uh, I tried to land as close to the, uh, the nearest gateway as was possible. So there's a gateway right over there. So we can certainly go and unlock that uh, with our compound... Plenty of compound available and lots of uh, lots of uh, organic. We can build up, you know, four or five, however many we need, uh, small small generators and turn that on for sure. Oh, that's not uh, that's not the light in the sky. Hold on. What do we have down there? Looks like some uh, laterite. Where would the uh, snail shells be? That's what we want to find. So we found a couple of interesting things we might want to bring back. Uh, of the two of these, given the limited storage on the ship, definitely the artifact is going back. Um, let's see. If we head over this way, see compound over there. More spine lilies. 
Where actually is the uh, the gateway? It should have. It should be near. Is that it over there? Huh. We should have landed close to it. I guess there are these like uh, clouds in the sky, and what else? What else do we have going on? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's head over to that. That's a good starting point, anyway, for something we can do, and we can look for shells along the way. All right, what do we have here? Uh, could those be? Could those be snail shells? I don't think so. They look more like uh, they look more like plants of some kind. But let's go check it out. Yeah, not uh, not a snail shell, unfortunately. Okay, let's make our way across these uh, fractured planes. In the valleys again. Hmm. There's some ammonium. Now we're in the Fisher's region. That could be something over there, maybe. No, that's just more laterite. Hmm. Interesting. So we may need to take another trip to orbit, unfortunately, and search for signs of our little buddy. Or maybe he's on the compass? Let's see. So far, the only thing on the compass is our ship. There's another research item. Hmm. Well, let's get up there. Uh, we're going to need to craft... Uh... Let's see. Was there... We kind of ran out of compound here. I don't see it at the moment. Uh, over there, that looks like... What, laterite? No, compound. Okay, this, this we do need some of this. Let's get some of this real quick. A little bit more up here. There we go, okay. Uh, so we'll build ourselves a little ramp up onto the uh, onto the gateway here. That's no good. That's a little bit better. Uh, let's do something like that. Looks pretty good. Uh, we do need more tethers, and then we'll build some small generators and power this guy on. Uh, we will probably also need, um, oops, come back please. Where did you go? Also gonna need some organic, but let's get the uh, generators set up first and then we can power them on. Okay, so, uh, I don't know how many we're gonna need. Let's start with three and see if three is enough. And we can uh, we can feed Sylvie, get some light going as well. Okay, uh, so generators one, two, and three. to hoover up some uh, organics here. Let's see, there's more over here. There we go. More than enough, hopefully. Uh, of course I fell. And let's see if three is enough. This should be six units of power. 
uh, all told when we turn these on. So, let's see. Uh, one, two, and three. Whoa, only half enough. Okay, so we're going to need three more. Okay. So we need some more compound. It's more organic. Probably we have more than we need here. Uh, but we are going to need more compound. Where did we dig that up again? Over here somewhere to the, on the far side? Oh, running low on oxygen, so we got to do this quickly. Uh, I've lost track of the compound somehow. Let's see. We dig it all up? I thought I thought there was like a, a lot of it somewhere. We were digging over there, weren't we? That looks like our digs, our our kind of digging left behind sort of a thing. Uh, yeah. Is there any more here? There we go. Just need enough for one more generator. Come on. I know you're in there. There we go. Oh nope. Ran out of power. Gotta go connect and charge. Almost there. Just need a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so, uh, I am concerned that we're not seeing the, the shells, the Kalidor shells. We are on that planet, so we should see them around here somewhere, but they might be on an entirely different part of the planet is the problem. Okay, uh, last generator needed should be this one. There we go, that's enough. I don't really see a need for lugging these around, but since we have a few slots available, uh, I'll pop a couple on here. We'll leave these two. And uh, according to the stone here, we've got, looks like, origin node is equator one, equator two, equator four and three, and then there's a south and north pole. Okay, so this is like, uh, this is like Silva. It's got six on the surface. The north and south pole, uh, four around the equator, and then the interior node. Uh, but since we don't have anything else unlocked, we can't travel anywhere. Now, where do I go to find these darn snail shells? That's what I'm curious about. Maybe they don't look like the other ones we've seen so far, or maybe they're just on an entirely different part of the planet. Uh, well, I mean, if we had a vehicle, we could kind of drive around, but we don't have the tech here to do something like that. Uh, I am going to need more. He could be, I guess he could be down in the caves. We could, we could, we could go down and dig down and look for, uh, look for snail shells down there. Uh, what do we got over here? Something. 
you. Your research pumpkin. And over here we've got Whoa! That scared me. Holy moly. A spiny atta attackus? You're you're gonna have to go. Sorry. Research item. Gosh, that is that scared the crud out of me. That is definitely a way to die. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's feed one of these to uh, Sylvie and then head back. Ooh, that was uh, that was a shocker. All right, so yeah, maybe the shells are down in the cave layer. So let's try that. Maybe it's not quite as easy as just wandering around the surface, right? Uh, let's go ahead and let's definitely throw this artifact into the shuttle to go back. Where is our storage bay? Over here. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely going back. For sure. And then I think we can leave the power generators here. There's no way to, like, hook them up to anything, right? Yeah, there's no there's no cable slot on either the, uh, the landing pad or the, uh... Or the shuttle itself so I guess we just drop these here for now and if we need them we know where they are uh, what we are gonna need however uh, we can put the mutant spiny seed in storage for now take that home with us uh, what we are gonna need however is a little bit more compound we're gonna need more tethers before we dig down uh, so where was there some there was some around here somewhere Let's see. I think I dug it maybe over there. So let's go back over here. And let's dig this out again. And then maybe we head down there and see if we can't find some... Uh, see if we can't find some goodies down there. Uh, how far did this go? This went quite a ways. Uh, so let's try not to disrupt the... Uh, the actual... Um, the tether chain here. Dig down a bit and gather up some uh, some compound here. Make more tethers with. There we go. That should be enough. Uh, we have a, another seed right here. Probably doesn't belong there. Uh, let's make some tethers. Okay, so we've got twenty to go, and 20 more available if we need them, which we probably will. Let's head down. Alright, so I see laterite. What else have we got down here? Hmm. Okay. So this, we probably need to build ourselves a little ramp. What do we have? Oh, there it is. There's a G. Calidor shell. All right. So it's a little red shell. And I was right. They're down here in the caves. Uh, okay. So let's get ourselves a ramp down real quick. Need a nice steep angle here. Something like that looks good. <laughs> little cutie. Okay, now we gotta look for more shells down in these caves. Let's see if we can find some. Uh, there's research material. 135 bytes. Wow, that's really nice. Okay. Well, that's a reason to come back if uh, things are like that. What is this over here? A dagger root. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of you. Oh, you're a big one. Look at you. And then where do we go? Um, which way do we go here? I guess we'll kind of head that way. We'll head around here. And head this way. Okay, looks good. There's a big, big old hole there. Uh, I think I'm actually going to cover this over. So that we don't fall down there. 
Let's make another kind of something over here. Oh, that's just, uh, that's not a thing I have to worry about. Okay. Let's keep going this way, see if we can find more shells. We want the little red ones. That looks like a curve. Let's keep going. I'll take those tasty research bites. So we've got more of these artifacts. Not sure what to make of that. Uh, we've got a bunch of laterite here. Uh, there's another shell. Okay. So yeah, they've made it a little bit more challenging on this planet. Uh, it's not quite just lying out in the open where anyone can find it anytime they want. Everywhere, right? Uh, I have run out of tethers. Let's build a few more of those. We may have to make another trip back to the surface to get more compounds if we can't find any down here. But there's one more shell. Okay, so that's two of the three we need. I guess we just keep exploring. Now, we could go deeper here. Oh, wait, there's more over here. Here we go. Uh, man, this is a little sketchy. Let's cover that over. Like, really serious holes there. You, you really don't want to fall down. Uh, because it's hard to get up and you'll lose your tether and suffocate. All bad stuff. Um, let's see. We've got research bites here. I think we will head down here. A little bit deeper. Grab these. Uh, I don't necessarily see more... We need one more Kalidor shell, so I don't know that going much deeper is going to be all that useful. Uh, let's continue along this path for a while. So I'm using the uh, I'm using the tethers liberally just to speed things up to go a little bit faster. Which way do we want to go here? I could probably get more uh, distance out of them if I use them more carefully. But yeah, here's another one of these car dealies that failed as well. Hey, we've got more uh, compound over there though. Let's move this out of the way. Oh, look, there's a drill on it. Really interesting stuff. Okay. Uh, let's grab some of this compound. So we don't have to worry too much about uh, tethers. We can just build a bunch more. This rock is fairly hard. I'm sort of having a little bit of... Doesn't, I'm not able to dig through it too quickly. That's probably more than enough. Uh, more tethers. And I guess we'll head off in that direction. Uh, see if we can't find some stuff over here. Let's get a little bit of a path for ourselves. Don't worry about falling. And just keep going and see if we can find another shell. I'm out. <laughs> Go through them so fast. Running like that and just dropping them. Alright, I really want to find this last shell and then uh, get, get our little friend going. If we can find him. Squeeze through here. Maybe over here? We sort of circled back around, it looks like. 
uh, which is fine. There he is. Found you. Okay, great. Let's grab the last uh, Kalidor shell. And now we have to head home uh, to get our terrarium and uh, build it. Or actually, maybe we can build it here this time. Since we have a landing pad with us, maybe we actually can just go ahead and build it here. Oh, that was almost bad. Woo, that was... I'm lucky that didn't end badly for me. I could have ended up down there in real trouble. All right, let's just uh, close that gap, I think, for ourselves, for the future. Uh, let's get something like that going. Yeah, that looks good. Go check the other side here. Okay, that looks good. And we can put a, uh, a tether right here and then close the circuit over here. I would have thought those guys would kind of connect up to each other. No? Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. Uh, all right, so we're going to head back to the surface. I'm pretty sure it's this way. So let's go back up to the landing pad, and let's see if we can complete the mission there, get the terrarium, and fill it with whatever it needs here on the planet, so we don't have to make another trip. We can just grab our snail buddy and head home. We don't need any resources from this planet, uh, although there's some interesting artifacts that we might want to bring home, but I've already got one of those, um, and I don't know how many I might need. So we might come back for those, but uh, if we can get the snail in one trip, that'd be great, because then we're done. Uh, yes, this way, I believe. Let's check the... Yes, there is the ship. Okay. Alright, uh, let's complete this mission, G. Kalidor, and we get the empty terrarium. Very nice. Okay, here's our empty terrarium. And then we need to fill it with specific items. So we should have a new mission in the log here. Uh, soil, copper, and weezweed seed. Okay. So this is not going to be that easy. Uh, we don't have copper here on the planet. Uh, there is malachite, but we don't have a smelter. So we are probably going to have to go home. And the weezweed we probably need to find here. I imagine. So let's uh, let's think about this. Um, I guess we kind of come over here and get fill up the soil canister to start. Just grab some terrain over here. Just enough. Okay, that's full. We can pop you in to get you some soil. But we're definitely going to have to go home to get copper, and we probably need to go pretty deep, probably well deep, to get uh, down near the mantle to find this weezweed. I'm assuming it's on this planet because it's his favorite food. Uh, so why don't we head down and see how deep we can go and whether or not we can find some wheezeweed. Do I have... I have a spine belly seed. Oh, that was weird. Uh, you can eat that. So we've got some tethers and some compound. There was more compound to be found. Uh, I think actually what I will do is I'll go straight down from here. Yeah, this looks good. All right. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna need some material here. Uh, we've lost our tether. Let me move this, I think, like that. And let's get some more material going. We're gonna need to fill up our canister. Uh, where can we get more over here? Sure, why not? Hmm. Even with the boost mod, this stuff is uh, already pretty hard to get through. There's a full soil canister. 
So I think we'll come over here, straighten this out, and then we'll start heading down this path. See if we can find some wheeze weed, whatever that is. So we don't have to worry too much, we just kind of slowly build our way down. And uh, head down towards the surface and then keep going down. Uh, let's move this site pylon. Let's get you out of the way. Let's move you like over there. What is that like pink thing that's coming out of it? What is that? What is that pink stream? See that pink like, uh, oh, that's, that's really interesting. Whoa. What is it connecting to? Oh, it's like a rail network. It connected to the other one over there. Okay, that is pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Uh, all right, so let's get you back out. Straighten this up. And then I guess we'll head down that hole. Uh, we can take a look around once we get down to the uh, the lower level. We can look for the wheeze weed. Fill this up again, I think. Oh, did we lose connection? We lost connection. Okay. Okay, next up is this path here. Uh, let's head a little bit further down. This looks like it's kind of already built for us, so we'll just kind of go down here. Uh, we'll clean out some of these uh, stalact uh, stalactites here. Oh, maybe not. This is pretty hard to dig. I'd like it if you can get out of the way, please. There we go. All right. You know, that, that makes me nervous. Let's fill that hole in. And looks like we're into the next layer now, so maybe we will find some wheeze weed down here. Whatever that is. Hmm, okay. Well, there's definitely more Kalidor shells. And I've run out of, uh, I have run out of, um, tethers again. Unsurprising, really. Do we see any plant life just sort of close by? Anything that could be a wheeze weed? Um, I see plenty of, uh, quartz. I don't see any hostile plants right nearby here. Uh, we've got those thingies. We've got like a geyser on the roof. So we've got uh, pop coral or dagger root rather. Hmm. There's something green over there. I'm not sure about that. I think that's malachite actually. Uh, we would need to explore down here. So we got to head. I don't see any um, any compound either. We got to head back up and find some of that to make more tethers. This is the main reason I want this little snail guy, because if, if we have the if we have the snail, if he produces oxygen the way I think he does, and if we have an RTG, 
then we're done with tethers pretty much for the rest of the game. I mean, probably not entirely. There's probably still situations where we do need them. But a lot more exploration we could do uh, without it. Hmm. Weezweed, where would you be? We can't capture this guy without it. We don't have to necessarily feed it to him. They can eat kind of whatever. But to capture them in the terrariums, you do need their specialty food. Um, all right, so let's keep going until... I'm pretty sure there was some compound over here somewhere if we follow this circle. And maybe I passed by a weezweed without knowing it, too. Maybe there's uh, some plants down here on this level. Hmm. At the moment, it doesn't really look like it. I suppose I'm also assuming that it's down here. It could be up on the surface somewhere. Although we didn't... I, we, we went a couple places. I didn't see anything that new in terms of flora up on the surface of Kalidor. Uh, so... Okay, there's the compound. There's another route down. All right, let's grab some compound and then let's head down, uh, I guess, down there. We can head down that way and see if we can find any plants down there. Am I really that far away? Okay, let's put another... I can't... Uh, I can't put a tether down until I build tethers, but we have some compound now, so I can do it. Okay. Put one here. One right here. All right, so now we should be good to drill as much as we want. Right, we'll get one more unit of compound. Okay, there we go. That should be more than enough for a goodly while. And then let's head down here. Let's head down this way. See what's at the bottom of this. Uh, this goes well down, it looks like. Okay. Uh, those might be... I think that's more wolframite or... Uh, not sure. Let me get a good angle here. something better. Give me something better than that. Or there we go. Oh, that might be... That might be okay. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna be fine. So we'll take this down. Uh, I think we go over here now. There, there we go. And we're about to run out of light, so we really need to find at least some kind of plant. Now, what is that over there? That looks man-made. Oh, here we go. No, that's not a plant either, though. Uh, okay. Let's head this way. That's not a plant, right? If I... That thing is not. No, okay. So we're, we're alone in the dark now. Let's go see what this is, though. Uh, it's some sort of... That's a that's a hologram for a uh, resource. What are you? You're a medium generator. Okay. Well, that's not helpful to the cause. Um, I really don't see any plant life here at all. Not even, like, the, uh, the dagger thingamajigs. There's uh, some more things over there. All right. Well, I guess we just kind of keep exploring a little bit on this level. Got to get a little bit further in before we uh, write it off. And we already started going this way, so let's keep it up. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's all, um... It's all rock and formations. There's like, there's this car network that seems to be down here from somewhere. Whatever that is. Okay, there's at least, there's at least some uh, plants over here. We've got some uh, dagger, dagger thingamajigs. What are they called? You'd think I would know the name, dagger root. So we can dig these out to get some light from Sylvie. But maybe we have to go deeper. I mean, that I guess that's been the answer before. Uh, we've got carbon over here. I guess I'll take that. Yeah, the only the only plants I've seen here are the dagger roots. So I guess the only option is to go deeper. I mean, it looks like we can do that here, maybe. Yep. Okay. And just keep going down until we find a new type of plant. I guess. Looks like we've already been down here. Uh, we would have to build a pathway here. So instead, I think I'm just going to risk the drop and go down to that... Uh... Can I survive this much of a drop, though? Well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, we're fine. So we got down here before. Yeah, right. This is where we ran out last time. So even here, I really don't see any plants. And uh, we probably need to go deeper still. Let's just take a little bit of a look around. Yeah, we've got the glass, or the quartz rather. And we've got uh, more of these artifacts. And then if we call the nearest car, nothing happens. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I think we do need to go still deeper. Maybe down past the bottom of the mantle to the, like the edge of the core? I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna collect up these tethers and go back to, oh look at that, there's, there's compound right there. And actually I am gonna head over and get that. So we're actually going to build towards that compound. And then dig our, our hole down to the next level down, right next to it. Or right through it, maybe even. But I very much want to be able to uh, print tethers on demand. So we are going to uh, go ahead and grab all of this head further down. What do we see over there? No wheeze, wheeze roots or wheeze seeds or anything. There's something over there. Hang on, What? what is that? Let's go check that out. I think we saw one of those before, but I don't know if we identified it. What are, what are you? You were, sh you were like shooting stuff at people, right? Hispine. Oh, Hispine. That's, uh, that's, uh, Sylvie's favorite. Um, okay. So right here by the compound, we're just gonna dig a hole and start heading down. Uh, right through it, I guess. Let's see how far down we can go. Get a nice angle going. Something real steep. I guess this will do. Okay, we've opened up into another cave. Lower level. Uh, it keeps dropping the dang, the dang tethers that I'm trying to put down.
There we go. All right. So let's uh, let's go a little bit further. Yeah, I don't see much down here either. That's like three that's dropped over the side. That's annoying. All right. Uh, let's get down to the ground. Let's go pick up those tethers. Actually, I mean, well, yeah, they're right here. They're easy to pick up. So one, uh, two, and three. There we go. That's heading further down. Um, I don't see any flora down here. No plants. Just all of these artifacts and like stalagmites and stuff. There's no, uh, there's no plants. Wait a minute. What is that over there? Is that, no, that's malachite, right? Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's another mineral. Yeah. That's malachite. I mean, it's nice to see, but... There's a hispine. So there is a little bit of life down here, but it's like very rare. I wonder if going deeper is the answer or if the plant that I'm looking for is up on the surface. Well, nothing for it but to uh, to go deeper. Still pretty fast. I feel like I've learned enough about the game now that I can do this fairly quickly. Kind of prepped well with all the tethers that we need and we understand how to build the road and how much space we actually need. All right, here we go. We've opened up into yet another cavern. is. That's promising. We see some plants right away. Okay, let's take a look down here. It looks like more of the same, honestly. I mean, more dagger roots. And nothing else. Take a quick, quick look around. Yeah, it's more of the same. We just keep, keep ending up in the same location, the same, the same biome, same stuff. I don't think I'm gonna spend a lot of time here. Yeah, so hispine and dagger root. I wonder if it's even on this planet. This food that he likes, or the thing that his terrarium needs. Maybe it isn't. Or it might be up on the surface, but if it is, it's we missed it. Uh, let's go down one more layer and see if we can find anything lower down. Thank you. 
used up a lot of power, it looks like. Let's wait for the battery pack to fill up. I mean, if nothing else, this will serve as a kind of starter road to the core when we eventually have to do that here. going down so we're still yeah we're not the planet's too big for us to have uh, encountered the curvature problem yet we don't need to adjust the curve that often we're still we're still descending it's just not going fast enough I guess for my liking okay hold on this might be a new area Clear this out a little bit. Yeah, I haven't seen whatever that is before. Wow. Okay, this is this is cool. This is cool. What is that over there? Uh, we've seen kind of like shapes like this on the surface, but this is getting pretty deep. Um, let's keep going forward a bit. And uh, let's see if we can't get a closer look at whatever that is over there. Now, what is that? Is that a plant? No, it's like a column or something. Yeah, it's just a mineral column, I think. I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not a plant. Okay. See anything else down here? No, it's all just rock all the way down. Alright, well, let's keep going. Seems like a lot of this series is me digging down and building highways downwards. I hope sooner or later we can get this going like a lot faster, you know? We can figure out a way to make this better. Almost out of tethers again. Got 30 left. So let's be a little bit more economical with them from here. Uh, I think we're going to curve a little bit here to take better advantage of this... Uh, Take better advantage of the of the uh, the slope that we found. So like, yeah, like this. Hello, what are you? Organic carbon material. Okay, you're just an ordinary plant, but at least you're a plant. Gosh, all we've seen is like rock and rock and rock forever. Keep going down. has to end somewhere. Nothing here right now. 
we're definitely on a downslope, so we're going somewhere. should have reached something by now, honestly. Okay, there's something. All right. Are we at the core? No. I think we're I think we're hitting the mantle here. I think we're getting to the mantle now. Let's take a look. Okay. There's some stuff down there. If we don't find what we're looking for down there, then I'm I'm giving up and we're going to probably either look it up on the wiki or like give up until we we find it on another planet or something because it doesn't I don't see a lot of plants down here either um, slope is still pretty pretty steep we could make it a little steeper something like that that's even steeper that will get us down to the ground. But I'm going to need to fill up the soil canister a couple times to get there. It's going to take a while, because this is hard material. Well, like I said, at least we've got a path down towards the core of uh, Kalidor here. We're, we're, we're at least to the mantle here. And uh, when the time comes that we need to get down to the actual core to unlock it, we've got a good, strong pathway started. So that's something. Uh, but the idea that I have to do this like seven more times or six more times is pretty pretty gnarly. I, I, I think we probably need to focus, if possible, I mean, I really want this snail, but we need to focus on building up our tech so that the way we can do this is easier. Like, for example, I could have come down here with a much stronger um, boost mod. That would have that would have helped things out. And if I didn't need the tethers, but then that's why I'm doing it. If I didn't need the tethers, uh, we couldn't, we wouldn't have to stop so often and etc. and so forth. Um, so this is going to, okay, wow, this is already kind of running out at 10 feet of road for, well, 30 feet of road for 20, two and a half minutes of, of, uh, of digging. I come back up here because it's close. Exciting streaming gameplay from Josway. You guys, this is what's going to make me famous. I'm going to get 50k views on this video of me digging a hole in a wall. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's keep it real narrow. We can place these manually to make sure that we get the most bang for our buck. And of course, we're running out of light right now.
Okay. You know, this does look different, actually, to be fair. It does look different than what we've seen before. I'm not sure exactly what all that is, but there might be something down here that we haven't seen. Gather up some soil to build a road with, once again. We are pretty, pretty close to the bottom of this layer, at least. Uh, this seems steeper, I think, than it actually is. Let's get down there. Let's just do it. Uh, there we go. That looks good. All the way down to the ground. Can we do it? Okay, we've made it down here. And now we can take a look around. So what is this? That's Wolframite. That's Tungsten, right? We already have a ton of that at home. That's Malachite for Copper. What else have we got down here? We've got whatever that is. Obelisk. Holy, what is what it what is this? Obelisk. There is something going on here on Kalidor. I don't know what it is, but there's something. We can't uh we can excavate this, I suppose. Then it just disappears or I could actually carry this. I could theoretically carry this back up to the surface. I am not about to do that, but uh, we could technically. And just no more, yeah, no, no plants at all. Just nothing. And we're out of tethers. So, uh, I am a little bit disappointed. Uh, I'm not sure what to do about this uh, this guy. I guess we go look for Weezweed on another planet, or I guess we can scour the surface and see if we can find it up there. But I mean, coming down in the caverns here, there was nothing. I mean, there was like a little teeny tiny bit of uh, of dagger root and the occasional um, the occasional whatever the vine is that she likes. But certainly not whatever we need to find this this guy. So we got to climb all the way back up now. Uh, I suppose, like I said, at least we have a way, a quick way built to get us close to the core when the time comes for that. But man, that is uh, that is a little a little frustrating, a little disappointing to do all that work and not have the payoff at the end. Um, I wonder if I'm a fool. Like if I if I go into here. It doesn't, no, it doesn't say what flora or fauna a given planet has. So it doesn't say that. And if we look at hazards, oh gosh, it does say. Weezweed, found on Kalidor and Aatrox. Okay, so it is somewhere on this planet. We have not seen this thing. Expands in size if approached and knocks back threats. All right, I definitely should have looked at this. But it's got to be up on the surface. I mean, we scoured, we scoured these caves and did not find Jack. So it's got to be somewhere up on the surface. It's probably, we probably ran past it at the start of the episode and I just did not recognize it. Because I didn't know I was looking for something, you know? It's got to be up there. I want my free oxygen snail friend. More for the free oxygen than for, you know, a pet, a cute snail friend like that's that's secondary he's functional man he's functional okay well
We might end up finishing Kalidor in one go. If we get our snail friend, I might just head down to the course since we've already built this huge road down there. I don't know. I'd probably have to go home first. Because uh, I think we need copper that we can't uh, smelt here, right? So I'd go home first. I'd probably pick up an RTG. So if I had an RTG, a better drill, and free oxygen forever, then we could get down there pretty pretty dang fast. Uh, even faster than what we did today, which was faster than what we started with, for sure. I think we're back to the surface now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, Weezweed, where are you? How do we find you? How do you work? Where would you be? We saw these cactuses, right? Huh. I haven't seen anything yet that makes me go, that was it, and I walked right past it. I'm I'm an idiot. Yet. Could happen. Okay, so we've got Spine Lily over there. We know what it looks like now. It's like a green thing with red dots. There it is, right there. See it? That's what we've been looking for all this time. It was right there. I just couldn't find it. Okay, well... What is that? LRD Zebra? Liminal Recondite Device. Observation 498. It's calling to me again. We should destroy it. Warning, do not launch the LRD into the sun. What? I'm slowly dying. Uh, hold on. Okay, there's an oxygen filter that that'll refill us real quick. That's why you always carry resin. I what is this thing and how do I take it home with me? I can't pick it up. LRD Dragon, this is a different one. Observation 329. Does anyone else hear them whispering? Warning, do not listen to the LRDs. Can I dig it out? I can. And I can pick it up. Okay, well, you're coming home with me for sure. Well, I... You know what? <laughs> for all the frustration and the fact that the thing was sitting on the surface the whole time, and I feel a little dumb about that, at least we found this thing, whatever this is. Right? We're taking this home, I guess. And not throwing it into the sun, I believe is what we were told. Look, there's another one over there. It was here the whole time. Guys, it was here the whole time. I just didn't know what it was or to look for it. We got like a beach, a magic beach ball. There's a lot of mystery on this planet right now, I gotta say. Uh, from, from the artifact thing we found to the obelisk down low, there's a lot of weird stuff on Kalidor. Maybe it's on all the planets. We just this is the first one we've really been to. All right, you got to you got to get dug up. Sorry. Yeah, I need as many uh seeds as I can get. All right. Why is it Whoa, whoa, where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, son of a it's rolling away. Uh let's definitely put one of these on here. That's got to go in, and then we have to go home and get copper for it. So that goes there. Uh, we'll throw a couple more of these seeds on. And we're probably going to have to go home with this. Although, I want to go get that ball. For sure. I don't know where it rolled. How far did it roll? Where did it go? Is it gone forever? Did I just lose it? Did it move on its own? Or did, it, did, it, did I put it on a slope? 
It's like, it's gone, man. Wow. I might have to bring Usagi back to find it. I can't believe that. I put it, like, right here. And then it rolled off that way. Son of a bargain hunter. Wow. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> this is another long one of me building a road. So I'm going to call it here. But uh, we did get a few things done. We lit up the gateway. You know, uh, we got our terrarium and two of the three parts for it, even if it took us kind of a long roundabout way to get it. We did a lot of exploration here on Kalidor, figured out kind of a lot of mysteries are here. And we did build that big long road down to the lower part of the mantle, so we're on our way towards the core of this planet as well. Um, but moving forward, I think I'm going to try to avoid doing that type of road building until we have our new snail and an RTG and don't need to stop for tethers or compound and can just kind of go down with a better drill and just do it as quickly as possible because, you know, playing it's a little tedious. I can't imagine what watching it is like. Um, so we'll try to make those improvements in future episodes. But until then, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.